Yeah, we're going to take, take a look at some basic division patterns here. All right, so we're going to start off with the very first one here, which is 24 uh, divided by 6 equals 4. All right, so we know our basic division tables here that it says that 24 divided by 6 is 4. But what happens if we take the number 240 divided by 6? Well, in that case, the answer is 40. And what we start to realize is that a pattern emerges. As long as this, we take this factor in and say 24 divided by 6 is still 4, all we need to do now is count the zeros in or, and add them in at the end. And this happens whenever we add, uh, when we have something that ends in a zero. So we have a, a base 10 in, in front of us. Okay, so let's take a look at another example to illustrate this. What if we had 2400 divided by 6? Well, in this case, what we would do is we would simply say, what's 24 divided by 6? Hey, that's 4. And how many zeros do I have? I have two zeros. So, in fact, 24 divided by 6 is 400. And if we were to go one step further, we would have 24,000 divided by 6 equals well, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. And we have 1, 2, 3 zeros for a total of 4,000. Let's take a look at another example here, and we're going to expand upon our division pattern to show us another trick that we can use to uh, solve some uh, pretty simple uh, division problems. So right here, we've got our basic base problem of 24 divided by 8, uh, which equals uh, 3. Okay, no problem. We know that one. And based upon what we know already, we've got 240 divided by 8. So if we just simply say 24 divided by 8 is 3, and then we just need to count our zeros, and we're going to come up with a total of 30. Well, what happens if we decide to bump this up, and we say 2400, or 2400, divided by 80? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to, going to uh, cancel some zeros here. And the way that we're going to do that is first is we're going to say, well, what is 24 divided by 8? Well, in that case, it's 3. But now we have a problem here because we've got two zeros on this side and one zero on this side. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to cancel out a zero here and a zero here, and that leaves us with one zero, and the total is thirty. Now, to further illustrate this point, let's take a look at this very large equation here. We have two hundred forty thousand divided by eight hundred. We can still use the exact same principle of just looking at our base here of 24 divided by 8 equals 3. But the question is now, how many of these zeros are we going to add in? Well, remember our canceling policy. What we're going to do is we're, for, we're going to cancel the exact same amount of zeros on both sides. So if we cancel one zero on this side, we have to cancel one on this side. And if we want to cancel another zero, we can pair it up here. But we can't cancel a zero unless there's a zero on the other side that can cancel evenly with it. So in this case now, we are left with two zeros, which we will add in. And our answer here, 240,000 divided by 800 is 300.